One of the most cruel and horrifying customs throughout history is the practice of castration. This brutal act, which involves the removal of the testicles, has been employed for various purposes, including punishment and the creation of eunuchs. The origins of castration as a punishment can be traced back to ancient times, with notable examples found in the Roman Empire and Imperial China. To fully understand the significance and impact of this practice, we must delve into the motivations behind it and the intricate social structures that allowed it persist. In ancient Rome, castration was utilized as a severe form of punishment for various crimes. The Romans believed that by removing a man's ability to procreate, they could not only ensure he would not pass on his undesirable traits, but also strip him of his social identity and power. This practice was particularly prevalent in cases of sexual offenses, where castration served as a means of emasculating and degrading the individual. The Roman Empire also employed castration as a method of punishment for slaves. Male slaves who were castrated, known as eunuchs, were seen as less likely to revolt or engage in sexual relations with free Roman women. The loss of their reproductive capabilities effectively diminished the threat they posed to the established social order. Additionally, eunuchs were often entrusted with important roles within the empire such as serving in the imperial court or as guardians of harems. Moving across the world to imperial China, we encounter another instance where castration played a significant role in society. In ancient China, the creation of eunuchs served a dual purpose as a form of punishment and a means of political control. The castration of prisoners of war signified their defeat and subjugation, erasing their masculinity and rendering them subservient to their captors. However, castration in China reached its peak during the Ming and Qing dynasties. It became a systematic practice, with young boys being specifically selected for castration to ensure their loyalty and servitude. These castrated individuals, known as court eunuchs, held influential roles within the imperial court, including managing harems, supervising rituals, and even participating in political affairs. The eunuchs' lack of familial ties and reproductive capabilities made them more likely to prioritize the interests of the emperor and dynasty over personal ambitions. Castration as a punishment, or for the creation of eunuchs, had profound effects on both the individuals who underwent the procedure in the societies in which it practiced. From a physical perspective, castration inflicted permanent damage on the bodies of those subjected to it, altering their hormonal balance and sexual function. This resulted in a range of physical and psychological side effects, including the loss of reproductive capabilities, voice modulation, and altered emotional well-being. Furthermore, the creation of eunuchs brought about significant social implications. By removing the ability of individuals to procreate, societies were ensuring the perpetuation of existing power structures. The eunuchs, lacking familial ties and motivated by personal survival and advancement within the system, became instrumental in maintaining the status quo. This concentration of power within a select few had far-reaching consequences, both positive and negative. While castration as a punishment or for the creation of eunuchs may seem barbaric and inhumane from a modern perspective, it is essential to recognize that the practices were deeply ingrained within the social fabric of their respective societies. They reflected the prevailing beliefs, values, and power dynamics of the time. Exploring the history of such cruel customs allows us to gain insight into the complexities of human nature and serves as a reminder of the progress society has made in terms of human rights and social justice.